cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get Hey guys, cooking. I have a super fun breakfast slash brunch recipe I think the whole family will go crazy over. If your family likes cinnamon rolls, and come on, who doesn't? My family loves them, and French toast. This recipe kind of combines the two. It's my cinnamon roll French toast bake. And it starts out with two tubes of refrigerated cinnamon rolls. So pick yourself up a couple of tubes of these, keep them on hand in your fridge, and then you can whip this up in no time. So also we're gonna make a, a yummy custard. So this is gonna bake in a casserole dish. It's gonna feed a family, maybe even have some uh, leftovers to heat up later in the week. So it starts with four eggs. A half of a cup of milk, or if you really wanted to make it rich, you could use heavy cream, but if all you have is milk, that works fine too. So I'm whisking that together. A little bit of cinnamon and some vanilla. Alrighty. Now I've taken a half a stick of butter and just melted it in the microwave. And I'm gonna put that down in the bottom of a nine by 13 casserole dish. As mentioned, this makes a nice big breakfast bake. It's so easy to throw together. Okay, now let's get back to those cinnamon rolls. You're gonna take two cans of cinnamon rolls and don't bake them according to package directions. You actually want to take the dough, the rolls, and just dice them into quarters and kind of throw them around the pan. Just put them in the bottom of the pan. Now this is one of those, I, I'm a big fan of making breakfast bakes the night before, but this is one that you really need to bake up and make um, just before you know, you're ready to bake it in the oven. So it's not a make ahead, but it's so quick, it doesn't even need to be. I mean, it is quick and easy. So you'll continue doing this with the second tube of cinnamon rolls too, just basically taking that dough and setting it in the bottom of the dish so that the whole bottom of the dish is covered with the cinnamon rolls. Now the cinnamon rolls come with a little container of icing. Don't throw that out. We're going to actually use that. So we're going to take the icing and just quickly heat it in the microwave for maybe just about 10 seconds or so. And when this bake comes out of the oven, we're going to drizzle that icing on the top because I think that's got to be one of my favorite parts about cinnamon rolls, the frosting on top. Okay, so this egg bake, or the egg custard, goes over our two cans of cut up cinnamon rolls and then gets baked uncovered in the oven. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes just till it puffs up and is golden and looks like this. And the house, by the way, added bonus, smells delicious. So check this out. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? And we're not done yet right before serving, and this is best served warm right out of the oven. Like I say, you just whip it up quick in the morning, bake it off, and then right when it comes off out of the oven, you want to serve it right away, just like you would a warm cinnamon roll. And you drizzle the icing over the top. And then just watch everybody dive in. You could certainly serve it with a little bit of butter and syrup, but you don't need to. This is a winner. It truly is. You can get the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. You need to make this. Trust me, it's going to be a hit.